Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. So last time I did a tutorial showing how you could customize, you know, black characters, like uh, Afrocentric characters from Daz Studio. So here we are in Daz 3D, rather in Daz Studio. I have this character in, with a nice black, black looking texture. And the idea was, um, how do I take this character into Character Creator 3.3? and take advantage of the, the skin gen, you know, plugin that they've uh, recently released. And uh, so I did that in my previous tutorial, but today we're gonna look at how we can actually refine because once you've brought the character into Character Creator 3, it still doesn't look the best because you can see the difference between this shader right here and the one in Character Creator 3. So, I mean, if you zoom in, the texture looks beautiful. I mean, the bump map and the normal map, they look great, but there's still something lacking in terms of uh, the quality of the texture itself. So to refine it, uh, it this, uh, this story, I'm gonna be showing you how to refine it to improve the eyes and also the teeth, all right? Let's get started, but first, I gotta go back to Da Studio and turn off iRay because I'm gonna need to use uh, my GPU for rendering. So we turn this off and just switch to texture shaded and minimize that. All right, time to refine this. And I think the first thing that I want to do is update the eyes, right? So these are the default eyes that come with, and let me maximize that, uh, they come with a character creator 3.3. So what we do is we go to uh, this, I click on this tab, right, under the template and we go to eyes and drop down the list and scroll all the way down so this is very important and i think i mentioned it previously is that uh, make sure that you don't use the, uh, the eyes that are under like cc3 rt for example you need to be on the root of the eye folder and then scroll down these are the eyes that are being optimized for use with the character creator 3.3 and also to give you that nice uh, look that you've been seeing on the website, on the Realusion website. So for now, we're going to ch uh, choose, let me see, I think this one. Let me scroll down a little bit. Let's uh, choose eyes 08. So double click on that. And I'm not going to pause the video. I want you to see how long this whole process takes. So this is the new eye we have now. And let's expand this as well. Go back to the mod modify panel. And we need, so the eyes are being, let's click on that. So we haven't enhanced the eyes yet, right? The reason being is that there's a new, like two items that I need, need to be added for the eyes to look better, to be improved. So we'll just, sorry, rotate that get a different uh, angle and click on enhance eyes so it's going to add a tear line and also the eye occlusion so go ahead and click create and this process again can take a few seconds or minutes depending on how fast your machine is and you saw how long that part took and it's almost done so it has added a nice you know shadow underneath the eye so it looks more realistic and you can see the tear line as well okay so if we rotate you can see the improvements so the eyes are looking great and let me also improve on the teeth so click on the head uh, let's open the mouth so the teeth that come with the da studio characters are not the best so what we need to do is go back to this folder and click on the root of teeth scroll all the way down and these are the ones that we need to use so i'm gonna use uh she needs nice teeth so we'll use our uh, teeth two so click on that again i'm letting this run so that you can see how long it takes and so there we have some improvement and i think we may need to move the jaw forward a little bit. So we can click on edit mesh. Uh, 
again just let it go through so you can see how long it, it takes and we select element click on the bottom teeth uh, press the W key and you need to be in the local move zoom in a little bit and I think what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna rotate under here and drag and select these items and I press the move to and we shall move these forward a little bit like that so that fixes the tongue intersecting with the bottom teeth so move it uh, forward a little bit more and I think the top teeth look fine and once you're done you just click out of uh, edit mesh and close the mouth all right so that fixes the teeth we have uh, nice looking eyes and now comes the uh, the shade the shader for the face texture itself so to improve that so that you get uh, that sense of uh, subsurface scattering yeah uh, we click on that and go to the sorry activate the editor here and let it go through the process of loading all the elements that are needed so it's going to create a base uh, map like a layer for the skin shader uh, and that will be the skin gen shader that it's adding and we'll be able to modify that uh, pretty soon so again this depends on how fast your machine is and it can go really quick or it can take a long time uh, here it took uh, I think it's going to take just a few minutes if not seconds really so it goes through and, and adds all these nodes all right so we are ready so we're in edit mode so it turns off all the clothing so that you can focus on the shader for the body right so we click on skin base and this is where the magic happens so let me expand this so you can see a little bit more oh that one won't move okay so first scroll down here and go to we'll, we won't adjust the global settings just yet what we need to do is go to the base color and for the brightness so the settings that i use for the base color is uh, a negative and you can use your own but i'm just showing you what i've been uh, testing and the results that i've been able to get so this is going to be minus uh, 0, 06 okay and make sure at the at the top we are actually using select the body is selected and i think we can act, do the head as well because we're looking at the head right now okay so that's the head and if i zoom out you can see it's applying it to the entire character which is good so already you're seeing improvements in the texture of the character right and let's go a little bit further so click on uh, skin base and i can expand this a little bit more scroll down let's go back to those settings so and then so that's a minus zero minus point zero six and then the next aspect that we need to do is we need to adjust the roughness in the setting that I was able to use for the roughness and under uh, brightness I used a uh, negative 12 All right, now you can see the glossiness starting to come in nicely. And then for the contrast, I used a point minus point zero minus point eight six minus or negative point eight six. All right, so you can see how it's improving the quality of the texture and the appearance and the shin like so you're getting more realistic so what you see down here for the body so once we finish this you'll be able to either copy the same settings and apply them 
as long as you don't adjust the texture map it will be able to apply to the rest of the body and you see what i mean so let's go up and for the metallic metallic <laughs> settings i used uh 0.19 for the brightness to give it that uh, nice uh, dark sheen and then for the contrast i i did negative negative five nine all right so there you go and that's how you get a nice clean beautiful looking black skin texture and we're going to work on the lips as well but for now i wanted to you to see how nice the skin looks and it looks like a, a real black character and it's getting closer to what we had in uh, da studio so that is the technique that i use to make the characters look better in character creator 3.3 uh, taking advantage of advantage of our skin gen uh, skin gen plugin but you can see how beautiful that looks already yeah so let's do work on the lips so if we go down on the the lips are up at the bar, uh, the bottom here let's zoom in and for that let me refer to my notes I uh, I did for the brightness of the best color for the red lips I used minus negative 0 0.03 and let's see in the for the brightness the roughness for the lips so we'll go down i use minus or so negative 0.38 okay so you can see the improvements happening already <laughs> let's go down and then for the contrast I did I used a uh, 0 0.10 this is for the roughness of the lips and it's already improved almost by 90% compared to how the character started out so this is the technique I, I use for making the characters look really nice in character creator 3 and I hope you can learn I hope this is helpful as you're uh, editing your characters especially afrocentric characters uh, for either for your short film or maybe for a concept demo of some kind but that's how you take advantages of uh, advantage of skin gen the new plugin let me see is there any other setting that i was able to adjust i think for the most part that that takes care of everything right and i can actually adjust the eyes for the, the enhancement and add some more shadows over there so it's not too white but overall that is the setting that i use to to make the characters look really nice with that glossiness so you t it takes away that washed look that you get initially when you bring in from, from daz uh, studio so when you're done with the face you simply just uh, click here and switch to the body and it will automatically generate the the body texture and that's how it looks right now okay and then after all is done just uh, click on uh, deactivate the uh, editor and uh, give it a few minutes or seconds depending on <laughs> on your machine and as I mean as we go through this I think this this uh, update for character creator 3 is so powerful right now uh, you can make like a whole set of uh, like a cast for your short film using this technique and have variations because even after this character is done you can still add you know modify it using the sh the shaper in the modification over here so that you can adjust the jawline the eyes and all that to be able to get you like a nice looking character but that is important that you need to be able to uh, switch between the body and the head so that you can it can apply the settings that you had on the head to the rest of the body and this is what it looks like after it's applied so if i zoom out you can see that the character's arms look like that and i hope that will help so please don't forget to subscribe 
and click like on the video if you have any questions if you're using this uh, skin gen plugin in character creator 3.3 i would love to hear from you and if you're using character creator 3.3 for your short films i'd love to hear from you as well how you liking it or not <laughs> what experience you're having but uh, there you go if you want to create a really good looking black character in character creator 3.3 using skin gen this is the technique that i use and i hope it has helped you thanks guys and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye and as always dare to dream big <laughs> bye bye